Are you ready? Tonight is the night that history is made on the tennis court. Maryland's Francis Tiafo is playing in the U.S. Open semifinals at seven. He is the first black man to reach this point since Arthur Ashe. Sports director Darren Haynes is live at Arthur Ashe Stadium in Queens. And Darren, it's just so exciting to see how our hometown tennis star has made it this far. Yeah, absolutely exciting. I mean, I spoke to some of the fans around here about how excited they are to have Francis Tiafo here. We'll hear from them later. Also an opportunity for you to fans to join my interview with Francis Tiafo one on one. We'll talk about that. That's going to air at 11 o'clock. But until then, we are just waiting for Francis Tiafo to play here at Archer Ath Stadium where he has the opportunity to make the championship game. Now, the thing about Francis Tiafo is it's been a long time since an American men's tennis player has played in the semifinals. Uh, it's been, you know, since 2006 or going back 16 years and the last time someone actually won the U.S. Open uh, on U.S. soil or an American, you have to go back to 2003. Now, a lot of fans are coming out here, also some big time stars have just received word. Bradley Beal is on his way back here right now. And we talked about that energy or should I say Francis Tiafo and I spoke about that energy that the fans bring and also having a guy like Bradley Beal here. What is it like having that energy? Everyone here cheering for for you, Francis Tiafo, and you have guys like Wizard star Bradley Beal cheering you on. What is that like? Yeah, having those guys it means everything, man. And you know, seeing how pumped up they are about it is is awesome. And um, you know, Bradley's one of my—he's definitely my favorite player in the league. He's been he's been that for a while. And and yeah, I mean, that, that gives you an extra lift. You know, the guys are just here with you. You know, we all on this ride together, and um, that means the world to me. Now, of course, having Francis Tiafo here means the world to a lot of these fans. And I ran into a couple local fans that made the trip up here to New York to watch Francis Tiafo play. Who are you here to see? Big foe. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what does it mean to see a guy from the DMV area in the semifinal at a U.S. Open? Oh, it's so cool, man. I play at College Park all the time in a men's league. So to see a big hero like that uh, go this far, I'm so excited. I'm very excited to see him. He, I mean, he's an amazing player. Um, so, you know, I got Tiafo all the way, so I'm rooting for him for sure. Now, it's only a few minutes away before Francis Tiafo does play here right behind me at Arthur Ashe Stadium. And this is a racket that I actually played against Francis Tiafo, a uh, game of tennis in back in the day. He gave it to me. I don't know if this is one of the rackets he actually uses. Uh, but it definitely came from Francis Tiafo. So, so we're all excited to cheer on one of our own from Hyattsville, Maryland. And coming up at 11 o'clock, I want you, the fans, to join in on the one-on-one -on -one interview with Francis Tiafo. I want you to go to my Twitter page, submit your questions on what you want me to ask Francis after this match, and I'll ask that question to him, and it could air tonight at 11 o'clock, you guys. I love how you're bringing people in, Darren. And, and you know, I, the other thing that I think is so great about what what Tiafo said to you is that he actually feeds on that energy. You know, sometimes you think they're so laser focused that the energy doesn't matter to them, but it does. And so it's great to see it all coming together. We'll see you coming up tonight at 11, my friend.